session I will be discussing about modeling of electrical system. You know, models of electrical systems are obtaining by using the basic elements such as resistor, inductor and capacitor. You need to know good information about resistor, inductor and capacitor. So, you need to form the differential equations by using Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law. You need to apply how to perform KVL and KCL for a given circuit. Alright. Now, you can define the transfer function by taking Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. Before that, to form the differential equation, you need to know the voltage across the element and current through the element. Let us see the table which I have given for you. First element is resistor. Voltage across resistor is V of t and current through the resistor is I of t. By applying the Ohm's law, you can write that V of t is given by R of t, uh, R into I of t, where R is a resistive element. From this, I can calculate I of t. I of t value can be calculated by using the equation I of t is equal to V of t by R of t. From this, I can easily calculate I of t. I of t is given by V of t divided by R of t. That is regarding resistance. Now, let us move on the inductor. Voltage across inductor is V of t and the current through the inductor is I of t. So, there is one relation between voltage of inductor that is given by V of t is given by L into d I of t by dt, where L is known as inductance. From this, I need to calculate I of t. How to calculate I of t? You take the integration on both sides. You can take the integration on both sides. Then I will be getting uh, 1 by L into integral of V of t dt. So, this is the relation between voltage and current of inductor. Now, let us move on capacitor, third element capacitor. First, you can calculate I of t of the capacitor. I of t is given by C into dV of t by dt. Do one thing, you can take integration on both sides. If you take the integration on both sides, this differential term will be getting cancelled. So, I will be getting V of t is given by 1 by C into integral of I of t. So, this basic relation you must remember uh, while doing the problem. So, these are the basics of modeling of electrical system. So, you need to know what is RLC element and what is the importance of KVL and KCL. How do you form the differential equation by using KVL and KCL? Then you need to know how to apply Laplace transform uh, for that particular differential equation. Then how to take the ratio between output and input. So, transfer function will be getting Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. So, this is a basic idea about modeling of electrical system. In the next session, we will be doing some numerical example regarding modeling of electrical system. Thanks for watching this video. Please share and subscribe.